Hey guys, Wubo here, and today I am back with another video for you guys, and in today's video, I'll be taking you guys through a step-by-step -step tutorial uh, showing you how to get the wolf bow on the map Dorizon Drac. Just like my other tutorials, I'll be taking you step-by-step -step showing you how you can actually get this bow, we're not going to be missing out on anything, and it's seriously a really easy step just to like get this bow, so I'm going to be showing you guys this tutorial today. If you enjoy it and want to see more, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to my channel for the daily Black Ops 3 Zombies videos, and there'll be a playlist in the description to where you can watch all the other bow tutorials. So starting off, you're actually going to need the Wrath of the Ancients bow, which is just a simple bow and arrow. Uh, there will be a tutorial in the description to where you can go and click it if you haven't already built that already. But once you've built that, you want to go and find these four pitches around the map. Now, the order of finding these four pitches is at random. It depends on what game you're playing because they do change the order every time you play this game. Luckily, I got a good order and what you got to go do is go up to a pitcher, hold square, and if you see an icon flash and stay there, it means that you've just you know started the order. Uh, but if you do go up to a picture and you press square and it does just flash and not see the icon for a long amount of time, then that means that you've stuffed up the order and you actually have to go and do that again. But it's seriously that easy just going up to a picture, holding square. If you get it wrong, just do it again. And then what you're going to go do is once you've done all the four pictures, you go down into the underground bit and uh, you'll see your little bow, your broken pieces of the bow um, come out from the wall and that means you can start your quest. So you've started your quest and the first thing you actually have to do is teleport. You have to go to a teleporter, I think there's two on the map. Uh, you go to one and you spend 500 points, it's pretty easy to spend 500 points and then you go to the rocket location. Now once you're at the rocket location you're going to have to go up to a platform and shoot a flag that is on the mountain. You'll see it, it's pretty easy just to spot the flag, you shoot the flag, it turns into like a fire flag I guess. Um, you do have to shoot this with your bow, and once you have actually shot it with your bow, you will see a skull roll down the mountain, and you actually have to go up and pick that up. So that is a part of this step. So you've got to go up and pick it up, and then we're moving on to the next step. So the next step is you actually have to teleport back to the underground place, uh, where the MPD is and you actually have to go up to your chest and once you're up to your chest You'll find this little skeleton. There's two skeletons. You have to go up to one of them and uh, Hold square so once you hold square uh, You will see a little wolf a like blue wolf um, You know spawn in and you actually have to go and follow that so with this step What you actually have to do is follow the wolf and there are three locations and at those locations You actually have to get souls you have to collect souls if you remember from origins um, you would find the chest, you'd have to camp at the chest, kill some zombies, and souls would go into them. It's the exact same like that, but with the dog. So as I said before, there's three locations, and what you got to do for each of the locations, you have to fill up the souls, of course, and once they are filled up, he will start to dig at the pile, and once he has dug at the pile, you go and hold square again, and you pick up those little soul things, I guess. So the next step is possibly the hardest step you can do in this tutorial. So what you got to go do, you see the wolf just staring at the wall. He's not doing anything. He's just staring at the wall. So you have to wait until zero gravity is activated. And once that is activated, you have to go and wall run. As you are wall running, you will see a hole with the symbol that was on the painting. So you have to actually shoot your bow and arrow in the hole and once you shot the arrow in the hole you'll see a platform start to form so you're gonna have to jump on that platform real quick you're gonna have to wall run again um, as this does start to break soon so you're gonna have to do this step really quick and once you are on that platform you will see a skeleton start to form and to make that happen you actually gotta hold square so you'll see a skeleton start to form and he'll pass you a arrow so you're actually gonna have to pick that up and then you have to move on to the next step okay so we're finally at the final step so with this step you actually have to go to your chest and you gotta find your certain chest and place the arrow in that chest you gotta do it with all the bows um, so you gotta do it in the wolf bow chest and then all you gotta do right now is collect souls so just you know camp around there train around there for a bit use your bow use any gun it doesn't matter you just have to collect souls and I think it's once you've got about 20 souls, I can't put an actual, you know, number on that, but I'm pretty sure it's about 20 or so, uh, you, w you will then receive your bow. So once you actually receive the bow, there you go, you've just got the upgraded wolf bow. It's a pretty good bow, 
it's not my personal favorite. Uh, I do have other favorites that will be coming soon, but it is a good bow if you're just playing with friends. As you see in the gameplay, I was playing with like three other people. We had a lot of fun. We had all the upgraded bows and it was just a hell of a lot of good times. So uh, thank you for watching this tutorial, guys. If it helped you in any way, shape or form, be sure to smash that like button. There'll be a playlist down in the description to where you can watch all the previous and future tutorials. And uh, subscribe to my channel for the daily Black Ops 3 Zombies videos. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out and goodbye.